just started uploading the last video and I took Owen outside and I'm like, oh, that'd be really cool to record, so. In the last video I said, wow, today's Thursday, so it's the last day to record. I never stop recording, it's just, this is the day that all the recordings that I've done for the past seven days need to just come to a close. That is some thick fog. Or not, th or not thick fog, but it is a, that is some spooky mist. Dude, if this would have been on Halloween, I would have been super scared. I just got done watching Stranger Things, so now like anything that's like remotely creepy is now like super creepy to me. Which, by the way, if you have not watched Stranger Things, I highly recommend it. I didn't think it was like super scary. I'm not a big fan of like scary movies. Uh, it was more of like a psychological thriller more than anything. I really liked it. Owen, can we go back inside soon? I uh, think I saw someone move over there. Stay close to me, Owen. Owen, stay close to me. Get inside. Oh, don't hit your head on the bike. But then again, I don't get scared that easily. I think we're clear. Can never be too careful. Did it suddenly get insanely warmer? I feel really awkward. I'm never sitting down. I was like, just like, this feels a little, this, this feels more comfortable. Okay, something I just want to talk about. I mean, this is just kind of like a shower thought that I had today. I was just thinking about all of the jobs that I've had, like where I actually got paid a paycheck. And every single one of those jobs, it was part of my job description to take out the trash. I'm not saying that I was like, oh, how dare they make me take out the trash. I'm not saying that. I'm a young 21 year old with almost no job experience whatsoever. So yeah, they're gonna put me at the bottom of the totem pole. I understand that. But when I worked at Sonic, it was part of my job along with about three other employees. Over at Printing and Design, it's the entire office's job to take out the trash. And at Cutting Loose, it is part of my job description. Well, I, I really don't have a job description. He just said at 4.30, with 30 minutes left before the shop closes up, take out the trash. I was like, so yes, that is my job. I don't know, it's just something I never really thought of before. It's that I was a car hop, a graphic designer, and a graphic designer. And in all three of those jobs, I took out the trash. I guess like the overall thing is kids go to college and get a degree so you can get a job where you don't have to take out the trash. Tonight at 9.30, me and Derek are going to see Doctor Strange. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little excited. I don't know anything about Doctor Strange, but there are some content creators that I watch online and they are obsessed with them and they say that this movie was fantastic and so I'm like, okay, I want to give it a shot. If it actually... One. Movies at 9.30, it's gonna be kinda late, which also kinda stinks because I have something to do tomorrow morning. But just for fun, I'm gonna take my skateboard. After seeing the train wreck that happened last week with uh, my skateboard, this can only get better. We can only go up. I got here way too early. So I was totally under the impression that it would take me literally forever to get to, to get into the mall. Because the mall, movie starts at 9.50. Derek said to be here at 9:30, so I figured that the best, the best time for me to like get here, to like leave house, so I could get here on this, would be like I'm gonna leave my house at nine. I left my house at 8:50 just to be in case I got here at nine. Sorry, 9:10. I got here at 9:10. Uh, and then I ran into someone from work uh, over at Printing and Design, and then I met, uh, met or then I ran into someone who uh, I haven't seen since high school. Did you join the Navy? Dude was jacked. Looked like he was doing pretty good. Good to see, good to see people getting out of Carl Junction and uh, being able to do different things. Derek's not gonna be here for like another 10 minutes. It's like, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skate around. What's up, guys? We're here at Rumble in the Jungle. It's like a major expo, or it's not like a career expo, it's like a major expo. Looks really cool. Hopefully gonna be able to talk to some people, get them to join the department. There were all these blocks. We have boxes. Excuse me. Uh, you wanna try that? Yeah, can I? Yeah, 
If you guys haven't, haven't ever done like a VR thing, try that. See all this? All of this? See it? All these numbers? Nerd stuff. One reason I went to be a graphic designer is so that I wouldn't have to deal with all the numbers. I'm not the best at math. I really can't comprehend a lot of the uh, numbers thrown at me at one time. Uh, and uh, this, this is, this is testing my limits. It's actually not as bad as I'm making it. It's definitely the hardest class I've taken here at college. The class I'm talking about is graphic cost and analysis. It's a class about graphics. It is a business class. The entire reason I'm just a little upset right now is that we have these estimating sheets that we have to do, where we have to fill out a bunch of information. How much is a job estimated to cost? It's, it, it's just a lot. And today I was really stuck on a problem and I was there for quite some time. And so I spent my entire day today just doing math. Yes, I was watching TV at the same time, so. The well, this sucks. I rode all the way home on my bike so that I could grab the board, get done with my last class. It's raining. Now, it's not raining anymore, but it definitely did rain. I don't know, I've never ridden my board in the rain before. See how well this works. Made a sweet turn though. Oh no! Oh, I was warned this might happen. Oh no, I didn't think it would be this bad. Oh no! Yeah, so I got my board a little wet. Uh, I guess uh, that along with the, uh, I guess like with the board being wet and with uh, me just rubbing on it over and over again, just kind of. I don't even call this grip tape. I mean, it's like grip tape, but oh, okay, yeah, it's grip tape. Oh wow, that comes off really easily. You know, maybe I should take it out in the rain more often, then get the whole thing just to be wood, and then I can like put a cool design on it. There was a full body mirror that was in the uh, in the rec room or in the laundry room for a, for a while, and I just never messed with it. And I'm gonna I took it down from there. I'm gonna set it up in here. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put it like long ways. I don't know. I think it'll look cooler. Horizontal. I did want to have a short little segment saying that today is Monday, November 7th. This is the last day before everything changes. Clinton gets elected president or or Trump gets elected president and then like nukes go off. I'm not do, I'm not saying that. This election has divided the country in a way I've never personally seen before. And I'm just really worried that if something does ha or that whoever gets elected that there's going to be lots of people who are really angry and that might lead to Fires, looting, death. I really hope that whatever the outcome, that we can all just move on, get through this together. But I feel like I might be putting just a little bit too much faith in humanity there. Also, uh, met the uh, met the neighbors across the way. They seem like really nice people. Come on, you almost got you almost got nailed it. I think it's important to get some breakfast today. I need my strength. I know I've been making a big deal about the presidency thing, but... Do you have any idea the storm you've created? That looks interesting. Uh, I was like, I know I'm making a big deal about the presidency, and I it, it is a big deal, but there's also things that are going to be on the ballot that I feel are maybe pertain more to me. I wouldn't want to say more important, but they're more impactful on my life. We're also going to be, well, like, along with the presidency, we're also voting for governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, attorney general, state treasurer, and state representative. Yay! We have all these amendments and like one proposition. Here's the existing 0.1% sale on campaign co contributions to political taxes by 60 cents a pack to create an early service or transaction that was ID to prove identity says that sets taxes 23. Fun stuff, fun stuff. No matter what happens today, I'm sure it's going to be fairly interesting. So, it looked like there was like a wreck or something on my usual way home from school. Um, not sure what it was, but there was like a big semi there and then police just kind of like blocked off that intersection. It's kind of weird. I took a detour and now I'm back here. I'm not sure exactly why I stopped to film this. No, no, no. No! Hey, how many did Jason say these things there were? 1,700. Okay, just got done. I don't feel comfortable at all with the decision I made. I mean, I feel like it was a question of how should we destroy the house 
and I said that we should not be setting it on fire, so I will stop that by ramming the truck into the house. Ugh. Anyways, I got a sticker. Wow, pretty. Be a lot better if there wasn't water all over the floor, but uh, yeah, this looks nice. I'm not really over at my parents at night very often, so it's cool to see some stuff get made. They just repainted their deck, so everything looks all nice and crisp. Also, these doors. It's nice to have a yellow handkerchief back. Look at Ohio. The governor of Ohio, very popular guy, Governor Casey, who has gone to war against Donald Trump. Dawn of day one. I went, I'm coming inside. I want to be safe. This is the safety square. I want to be safe here. You know how some people have like safe areas or uh, safe spaces? This is my safe space. No one's allowed in my safe space except Owen and Copeland. Which apparently Copeland's still here. It's the morning. I just got up. Didn't even do my hair yet. But I don't really like to talk about politics or world news or anything like or anything like that. Not because like I don't like talking about it, but it's just I'm not really super interested in it. So it, it, it's nothing that really like captures my attention. But one reason why I started vlogging is if you've ever watched The Office from like start to finish, you see a progression of. Well, I know it's fake, but you see a progression of someone's life over ten years, and I thought like having a just video catalog of your life for like 10 years would be an, an amazing thing to have. It's, it's kind of like having a journal or having a uh, like a time capsule. I Occasionally I do talk about things that are happening in the world because I feel like it's important to say what I was thinking, what I was feeling at this given time in my life so that in the future it's like do I do I share those same thoughts and ideals with my future self or has something happened and I completely changed my opinion on it also like to make little predictions Donald J Trump is the next president of the United States which is, oh Owen's giving me a weird look like he didn't know and now he does know I'm not saying he was my first choice he wouldn't even be my billionth choice I think I'll talk more about this in or like in, at, like at the end at the Levi Grant show but I feel and I understand like Emotions are high right now, but I feel like a lot of people are overreacting. So uh, I really hope that um, at school today, or just like, and what is that? I, I, I hate you. I'm gonna go chop that off. I hope at school, and I hope in uh, in daily life, everything's gonna be fine. Taking the bike today, not because I dislike taking um, the board. I love taking the board, but right now, it's taking the board is more fun, but uh, it requires more work and I get there slower. And right now, I wanna get, I was like, I wanna get there as fast and as efficient as possible. Also, I just put up these wall hooks and the board looks awesome hanging on the wall. I love it. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I got out of class like really early today. So I'm just hanging out, waiting for my next class. I was like, you know what, this would be a really good opportunity to go and film something, not knowing what to film. Howdy. I feel like I need to give props where uh, props are due. I rode my bike to Walmart because it's like right next to the school and I just got done with class. I came for, uh, well, I mean, what I came for, that's not important. Anyways, I feel like I need to give props to Walmart for not only having this sweet looking bike rack here, but I, I've never noticed this. I've never personally noticed this because I don't usually take my bike. They have an air pump here where you can like air up your tires. I did air up my tires, I will say that because I haven't done it in a while. But they also have a tool station here. If something's loose on, the, on your bike, you can tighten it down. Phillips, a flathead, the Allen wrenches, not sure exactly what that is, but I'm sure it's important. Good job, Walmart. Okay, N none of this is yours. Understand that, church? None of this. Copeland, buddy, hey, I don't know if you're still here or not, but uh, I brought you some lettuce. So if, uh, if you wanna, lettuce and some carrots, so. 
that's something you're interested in. Here you go, bud. No, not for you. None of it's for you. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Levi Grant Show. Thank you for tuning in. It's important to eat breakfast. Unfortunately, that's not breakfast. This is more like brunch. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about this week, and the first thing I want to talk about is the big thing first, like the thing that everyone's talking about. Doctor Strange was a pretty good movie. I The CGI was amazing. The story was pretty decent. Overall, I liked it. There was just so much complexity to it that I just couldn't really wrap my mind around just the entire universe. I feel like if I watch it again, or if there's like a sequel, or he's in other things, maybe I'll be able to get a better understanding of exactly how his powers work and exactly how or exactly how they're able to change the universe but overall good movie and now the really big thing that went on this week starbucks announced their holiday cup and i gotta say that i think they did a good job last year they just had the red cup and everyone was like oh this isn't christmas and everyone got really mad at starbucks for designing it but now this year all the designs are made by people that just took last year's cup and like drew on it it was like this is what a holiday cup should be so if people complained this year about the holiday cup starbucks has that easy scapegoat like no you guys are the ones that designed it we didn't do anything it's not our design what no i feel like the funniest part about this whole story story is the people that were complaining about the green cup that was like all the people of the world drawn on like one continuous line and how everyone was getting so upset that that was the holiday cup and that how like how it wasn't representing Christmas the way they wanted to and even people last year that were complaining about Starbucks having the holiday cup just be the red cup what's going on in your life that the most important thing is what kind of cup does Starbucks have for the holidays I feel like this can go either way like if you have so little going on in your life that you get upset about a cup get a hobby and the flip side of that is if your life is so optimistic and so happy that there is nothing wrong in the world that you actually feel that the only bad thing happening in the world is the cup that Starbucks has I invite you to turn on the news and I feel like that is a perfect way for me to jump into the fact that Watch Dogs 2 comes out on Tuesday I know people are gonna be like oh you like Watch Dogs that's a terrible game why do you play it it's like I play it because I have fun playing it. Watch Dogs 1 was not a fantastic game, but I enjoyed it, so back off. And as like a side note, Donald Trump is the new president. Yay, or boo, depending on your political stance. Now, I am a straight white male, which means that I have absolutely no say in anything that goes on with life, I guess, because I am a privileged individual. Now, the thing about Donald Trump being president, I'm not thrilled by the idea. I feel like people are overreacting, which I know is bad. I feel people that are feeling this way and I say that you're overreacting, that's just like the worst thing to say. Have you ever been in a relationship and you tell your significant other that they're overreacting and it's just like, you know instantly that was the wrong thing to say? Yeah, this is this is that. For example, all the protests that are going on in California right now and how California is calling for the seceding from the Union. Everyone that is participating in the peaceful protest makes sense. I feel like that is a great way to say that we do not feel represented and that we want change. The people that start rioting and breaking windows and lighting things on fire, you are doing nothing. You are just undermining the people who actually have a message to say. My only concern is that I'm not sure exactly what the protests would ever change about the election. We as a country have decided that this is how we're going to choose the next president. Unless we all agree on finding a different way to choose the next president, this election determines who runs the country for the next four years. But hey, I have no idea how government works, so don't take my opinion on anything. And just on a side note, everyone that's calling it the Cal exit, referencing the Brexit earlier this year, can we... It's like the most uncreative name ever, and it bothers me. <laughs> and for everyone that feels that Donald Trump is going to bring about the end of the world as we know it, I first recommend watching this video from Shoe on Head because it's amazing. Just a quick note, Shoe on Head's videos are not as lacking in swear words as mine are, so. He's not even present yet, and people are feeling scared and threatened, and they want to move to Canada. Which, first off, quit. Just stop saying that. First off, Canada doesn't want you. Secondly, you're not going anywhere. It wasn't funny then, it's not funny now. I don't know how to describe my opinion, except that I think everyone needs to calm down. Especially this chick. There will be casualties on both sides. There will be because people have to die to make a change in this world. Anyways, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you guys next time doing whatever. Oh, oh God. Bye, everybody. Peace. <laughs>